actress with 14 movies under her belt. This summer, she makes her way back to the New York stage in the Lincoln Center production of Twelfth Night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Kira Sedgwick. <laughs> I'm good. Can I just start off by saying yeah. that it's a little intimidating coming on after all those amazing people? A little yeah, bit. Yeah. I mean, kids are one thing, but then the mom of of the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, it's I, a lot I, of stress. You know, a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, I'm a Jewish girl, but I went to Quaker school. Uh huh. And in Quaker school, you had to do community service. Right. And I gotta say, I just I think it was a great thing for me. It is. It's a great right thing away, for everyone, to get it, I think. to make it mandatory right away. Right. And then you get into doing it and really feel good about it. Yeah. Were you a good kid? Were you sort of occasionally? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, good no, grades. You had good grades though. B plus. That's all right. You weren't like a troublemaker. I wouldn't say that at all. No. Did you grow up here in New York? Uh, yeah, I grew up in New York. Yeah. I would say that I was a troublemaker, is what I was saying. Oh, you were a troublemaker. Of I was. I was looking at you going, there's a little bit of devilish. Do you want the footstool? Yeah, sure. Watch. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't that enjoyable? It's great. You'd think we would have just lowered the chairs, but we instead no, installed no, like a footstool. It. I you know? like it. I like it's it. It's nice. So, you had a um, good time getting here? No problems this morning? No, no, no problems. All right, good. Car got you there, kids got off yeah, the school, yeah, everything's, oh, fine. everything's fine. All right. No, actually. Um, we woke up at 7 this morning, Kevin and I, and re and realized that we had an appointment at 7.30 that my son had to be at. Oy. And so we were rushing around and had to make lunches for them and breakfast for them. And I had to get dressed for this. Right. And I went into my closet and I got some stuff. And then I went into the bathroom to grab my dry idea, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that works. You enjoy dry idea. Dry idea. In fact, if you send me some, I will use it. Now, Absolutely. do you do the spray I'll, I'll or the roll-on? No, the roll-on. The roll-on. So I, I, it was, it felt like it was empty. Wait a second. Is this the dry idea that you turn no, and a little no, comes no, out? No, no, no. The shaky, Just the shaky, shaky roll-on. Okay. So I thought it sounded a little empty to me. Right. So I rolled a little bit right here. Sure. To see. And so, but it came out. So I put it on, and then uh, I went into the uh, kitchen. And I threw the fo the food in the lunchbox, and I gave and I and I took a last sip of coffee, and I wiped my mouth with um, with this wrist, and I gave Kevin a big, huge kiss goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and we both looked at each other and thought, said, "What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my God! Dry idea." I said, "Honey, it's dry idea." Do you ever take the spray-on deodorant and think it's hairspray real quick when you're running? No. <laughs> Perfume. I've done that. Perfume. Yeah, it's not good. Now, um, how is Kevin good? He's great. And your two kids, so adorable. Your son, I saw at a screening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, such a right. cutie. Oh, yeah, he remembers. So yeah. cute. You guys all went to see Lion King? Yep. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Wasn't I mean, it amazing? It was incredible. It's such a great show. It was amazing. The first, the first uh, number, they just come in and they just... They, they imbue your senses. I mean, they just take over. And I burst into tears. Me too. And, um, I did yeah. Too. Just and my kids thing. were like, why are you crying? And oh, I said, you I know, know. I'm, I'm moved. I'm so moved. Because they just went right in and just grabbed my heart. And I, I agree. I took my son the second. I saw it on a Saturday night. I took my son to the matinee oh, really? on Sunday. And again, I started to cry when they came down the aisle. The oh, elephants and, the, and he looks at me and goes, Mama said. Why mama said? Oh, I go, no, mama's real happy. Why are you crying then? Oh. Doesn't get it, you know? But I thought it was just brilliant. And how about yes. you back on the stage? Yeah. The Vivian Beaumont at Lincoln Center. Twelfth night, yes. which I believe is that guy I don't get, William Shakespeare. Bill. Billy. The bod. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, I, I, I was not crazy about Shakespeare myself. Mm -hmm. I, I have to admit, I just, I didn't get it. It was long, it was boring, and I didn't understand it, which is the worst part. Right. But I gotta say that working with this director with Nick Heitner, who did Object of My Affection and, and lots of other, lots of plays. Oh, Jesus. You hit the full stool. It's all right. Just Sorry. calm down. Don't worry. We'll get it back. There. Here it goes. You're OK. Sorry. Don't worry. You're fine. <laughs> William Shatner hit Thank the button. Thank God. Did you hear what happened to William Shatner? What? Hit the button. The whole chair went forward. I know. Fell. I saw all that. Right, fine. All right. I thought he was joking. He was not joking. It was oh. the first day we had the footstool. I thought he was kidding. He was not kidding. Okay. We miswired it, and the guy oh, shot across no. the stage. <laughs> I God, thought for so sure lucky. there was a lawsuit. I didn't know. You're so lucky you weren't sued. But anyway, I promise you that you will understand every word of this 
of production. this production. So when they called and said you, Twelfth Night, did you say yes right away or? Eh? No, I said, uh, I said, um, well, what do I have to do? And right. they said, you have to audition. And right. I said, well, forget it. No, I said, um, if the guy said to me, uh, uh, what Shakespeare background do you have? And I said, none. <laughs> and you did. You had none. None. I, not at all. But I didn't tell him that. I told my agent that um, actually I I said, why don't you lie and tell them that I went to Juilliard and um, <laughs> and that I did Romeo and Juliet in my graduate production. And did he? And um, the no, they decided not to. They, they decided, didn't lie. They decided not to lie for me, but, uh -huh. um, but I, I auditioned anyway and it was okay. And you got it. Yeah. Better than I could do. Now, who else is in it? It's a star studded cast, is it's, it not? It's um, Helen Hunt and Paul Rudd and um, Philip Bosco and Brian Murray and Max Wright and Amy King. No kidding. Yeah. And when does it I think open? I have everyone. July 16th. July 16th. But that's not what I'm here to talk about oh, today. What are you here to talk about? <laughs> Your movie, Montana. And you know what? We tried to get a clip, but you say the F word so many times. Oh, no! We could not find a clip. It was curse after curse after curse. But like, what are we going to roll? The back of your head? Oh, I... my gosh. You kidding? It's a fabulous movie, but you it are is. a little foul-mouthed. Uh, slightly, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's called Montana. It's right. on HBO at 9.45. Why does it start at 9.45? What? That's what they say, 9.45. A I bad have time. no idea. It's a terrible time. What is it about? You they want to make sure the kids are asleep, I suppose. They better be asleep because beep, 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 beep. Oh, my gosh. Now, well, you're cursing this, and who do you play? A big cursor. A big cursor? Yeah. I play this um, hit woman. Yeah, you do. You know, but it's a good movie. It's it is really a good movie. Good. I saw it. It was enjoyable. You're Thank not, you. You ran over that guy. But, you know, wait a minute. John Ritter is in it. He's playing a mafia you guy. You know, you're talking about the bad words. You're talking about me driving over people. You know, it's really about this woman. When you punched him in the face, it was good. <laughs> Remember when you decked that guy? You know, it's really about this woman. Yeah, uh-huh who is in a very dishonorable profession. Yes. However, yeah. she is a very highly... She's a highly... I'm just saying. Moral. Moral. Upstanding. Woman. Cursor. Who happens to be in kind of a dysfunctional family relationship, and it happens to be organized crime. But, you know, it's really... Yeah. <laughs> Hence the name Montana. Understand you know, how that all ties in? Can I just say, I argued with the director for so long about changing it. Yeah. But, you know, she liked it. The other name was going to be Cursor Thug. That's right. There you go. <laughs> can you stay here? Because we have to say um, break and then say goodbye. So yes. Can you stay and say goodbye? I can say goodbye. Say we'll be right back. Okay. Bye. We'll, we'll be right back. Goodbye. We'll be right back. Oh, we'll be right back. Thank you.